there has always been the debates between Unity and Godot. Both are amazing engines, but today we will take a look at the reasons why Godot developers may choose to stick to it instead of exploring Unity. Of course, it doesn't mean that the reasons that I will present in this video apply to, e to every single Godot developer out there, but well, they are just general, that can still be useful. Now, let's start. 1. Unity is complicated. So for sure, one of the reasons why many developers um, choose to continue using Godot is basically because they think that Unity is a little bit complicated. And the fact that Unity is indeed a little bit more complicated than Unity uh, has two main points. The first one is basically the programming language C Sharp. Whereas Godot uses GDScript that is a much friendly, uh, a much more friendly programming language as well as easier. And then the second point is basically the user interface itself. As soon as you open Godot, it is a little bit more minimalistic, easier to find stuff and easier for a beginner that is the first time that opens an engine. Of course, any of the uh, programming languages uh, is complicated on its own. And of course, with practice and studying, you can actually start using them. But for a complete beginner or for any developer, it is going to be much easier to start off with GDScript than with Unity, with C Sharp, basically. For sure, both aren't that difficult. I mean, the interface and the programming language of Unity C Sharp, so you can actually learn it anyway. But the time that you may need to spend on that is much more than the uh, time you would need to spend in Godot in order to have a comprehensive understanding of it. So yeah, definitely the reason of being a little bit more complicated is the reason why many Godot developers still use Unity. 2. Unity is heavy. And here there isn't a lot of debate or a controversy that could appear, for example, because in programming languages and interface something that has to do more with the personal uh, side of a, a developer, but it is uh, something that is by hard true, okay? Unity is heavy. And again, this has, I, I would say, two main uh, points. First of all, it's heavy in terms of storage, okay? Um, in Godot, you basically install a zip file, well, you download a, a zip file, you, you extract it, and there you have just the executable and the console, and it's going to be literally just a couple of uh, megabytes, whereas in Unity, you have to download Unity, also Unity Hub, and some kind of code editor, so um, it is, of course, going to take much more space in your disk, not only in terms of the storage, but also in terms of resources that are needed in order to run Unity in terms of hardware. There are many people that out there doesn't have the budget in order to buy a high-end PC, so they have a PC that maybe doesn't have the best components. Therefore, they aren't able to run Unity, but they are able to run Guru because literally Guru runs in any, in any PC. I have, for example, tested it personally in the Windows 7 PC that was for something like from something of uh, 2000, 2005, and it literally ran super, super smoothly. So yes, indeed the fact that Unity is heavy, something that can't be contradicted, it is a super heavy software. If you have a middle PC or a high PC, you are going to be able to run it anyway, it's not some kind of NASA software, but you will still need some kind of powerful PC, so if you don't have that, that budget or if your PC isn't that powerful, probably you're going to have some problems. 3. Unity is slow. Indeed, in this point, as in the last one, there isn't much to actually discuss, it's just something that is true. Firstly, it takes so, so long to create an open air project. We are talking about something like one minute, one minute and a half to create a basic project. And even if you add some kind of components, like some kind of specific pipeline, 3D pipeline or something similar, it's going to take more time. And then once the project is created, and let's say that you close it because you have finished programming and you want to open it in other moments of the day or in another day, you have to actually wait something like 15, 30 seconds, depending on the project, of course, in order to open it. In reality, without both creating a project and opening it up, we literally take them something like one second, two seconds at most, so it is super, super rapid. In addition to this, every time there is a super tiny, even though there may be some tiny uh, change in any script in um, Unity, that super tiny change m must be compiled 
in order to play okay and that compiling actually takes considerable seconds something like three four seconds so imagine that you are testing thoroughly in order to detect some issue to fix some error and well every time that you want to try out a solution before playing the game you have to wait something like three four seconds until the scripts compile so yes indeed it is something a little bit annoying when uh, you have to play for um you have to be continually playing and playing to say something to spot something wherever or just testing your game or just in different mechanics whenever you change literally one line of code one character in line of code you will have to wait until all scripts compile um so that's of course going to take resources from your pc and will consume some time in good note, of course scripts also have to compile in every change that you do but the main advantage it's the fact that this scripts compiling is super super fast you literally not you literally can't notice about this because the window pops up when you click play but it literally takes less than a second so you don't even see that window indeed the load is super fast and that's the reason why many developers stick to it for unity is an engine well this is actually a, a point that i added myself because basically here I want to make sure to make a clear that basically choosing whatever engine you want to use is just a choice okay and as every single choice it really has to do a lot with your own needs with your own personality etc so for example if you want to create a super complex 3d game with lots of visual things maybe good out isn't the best choice probably you can still get quite a good result in Godot but it's going to be much more straightforward creating everything in Unity as well as creating something 2D it is always faster in Godot so all the time you can basically uh, uh, choose on your own in which situations use what engine so yes indeed depending on your resources depending on your personality depending on the exact type of game that you want to create and also depending on your own uh, things that you like maybe you do like the unity interface you do like the good old interface you like more the c sharp or gd script or whatever and that may actually be a factor why you you end up choosing uh, engine x or engine y so stop demonizing these things of oh you use good old, oh you use unity okay and we should actually humanize the choice of basically that this is a piece of software that we are going to be using um because we think that this is the more the most targeted application in order to create the exact game that we want to create and because we also like it that's all okay and also remember that you can actually learn both of them use both of them depending on the exact project so it's not something like it's going to end your life or or, or anything like that if you actually use both you don't really have to be just in one side or the other you can be in the middle as i am because also being in the middle of it will allow you to actually think better about which one is better because you're going to be able to outweigh better the pros and cons of each engine because maybe unity does have a longer journey in the industry and probably is a better engine overall in most situations but well a good old still has amazing points that are worth considering so anyway let me know in the comments down below do you use unity do you use good old why i really look forward to reading your comments see you in the next one and bye bye